this is episode two of my free trade financial journey. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a midweek episode, but I've made a few changes recently and I've seen a change in my sort of stock portfolio in terms of profits. So I thought it would be worth sharing the video. Now, this video is going to be a lot shorter than my first video. Um, I think my first video is nearly 36 minutes long, which is way too long for a YouTube video and for people to stay engaged. So this one will be a lot shorter. Now, um, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, sent. Oh, wait, before I talk about sentiment, Sonus. Sonus is definitely a company that I'm going to be looking into uh, a lot more. I've got a Sonus speaker at home and um, yeah, I would actually love to invest in them. So I'm probably going to do a bit of research over the next week or so. Uh, let me just take a look at all okay so it did dip as well uh so yeah there might be might be a bit of opportunity there anyway um back to what i was saying um first stock i want to talk about is sentiment now i sold my sentiment shares recently um i say recently i mean today uh personally i think the gold rush is over um, the world economies are starting to recover. Um, shops are open, opening back up and stocks are going back up. So I think a lot less people will be dependent on gold and keeping gold as a sort of safe haven during these turbulent times. Um, I definitely think that uh, the gold price will probably slow down in the next two to three weeks, which would definitely have an effect on sentiment. Um, to be fair, I only originally bought sentiment based on someone's opinion, which you should never really do. Uh, you should only really sort of take on someone's opinion if you've done a lot of research into a stock yourself and, you know, you want to go for it and you're just waiting for maybe a little bit of validity on that from maybe a secondary person. But to be fair, you should never really... You know, even then, you shouldn't really take on someone's opinion. Uh, you should really only sort of take on someone's opinion if they're sort of a, a trained, certified stocks and shares profes professional. But going back to the sentiment shares, you can see on the 22nd of May, I bought in at £34.95. pence, And today I sold my shares for £32.29. So as you can see, I've made... Um, a loss on this one however it's a small loss um it's just over two pounds and you know as long as my losses stay small um i'm sure long term i'll remain in profit however i mean if anyone's holding sentiment long term i think they're in they're in a good position and they're in good hands um i sort of bought into sentiment at the top of the market and um, I really should have done a bit more research into them before I bought shares. So I don't think I bought, I sold the shares too early. I just don't think it's the right share for me at the moment. So what I did do with the funds from Sentiment, I actually invested into, let me discover, uh, Amigo Holdings. Now, with Amigo Holdings, as you can see, they're currently trading at 18p and they've been on a downward trend for the last month and actually the last year. Now, with Sentiments, I am at a minus 20% loss. Um, it's actually slightly higher earlier today, um, but I'll talk about that sort of later on in my video. Um, and you can see the losses are at 26 pounds and 76 pence and my average price per share is 22p and as you can see they're trading at 18p so it's not necessarily great news for amigo but i guess i'll talk a bit more about them uh, later on in this video on a good note portfolio my shares have nearly tripled well my shares haven't tripled my profit has nearly tripled um, on Friday, so um, after closing, after um, stock market closed, I was up roughly about £106. And you'll probably be able to notice from my last video, it was roughly £106. Now, as you can see, 
this is probably a perfect reason why you should never sell shares based on emotion and just be aware that stocks always go up and down. So even if you're at a loss on a Friday, you can be back up on Monday. And here's just evidence. I mean, I wasn't losing money on Friday. However, you know, I've made significant gains and it's only the Monday. Um, where I've seen most of the gains is Aston Martin. I've seen a lot of gains with Aston Martin. And as you can see, I mean, over the last year, they're down significantly. But over the last month, they're up 30%. Over the last 17, seven days, they're still up 30%. And today, they're up 13 and a half. Um, 13 percent not 13 and a half and that's eight and eight p change now if i scroll down you can see my average price per share is 44p um i'm up 50 percent on this investment it was slightly higher earlier but i'll explain later maybe some of the eagle eyes people can see already and i'm up 172 pounds and 45 pence so that's really good news for me um you know, if all of my shares end up being positive 50% plus, I will be in a good position long term. Now, um, as I did mention, I did uh, make some changes in terms of I added additional money to my portfolio. So today I added £100 and I invested the £100 into Aston Martin, not all of the £100, but you may have seen that today on the 3rd of June, I bought 76 more shares at £49.40. So my average earlier was roughly about, my average price per share earlier was probably about 41 pence per share. By buying extra shares, it's taken it to 44p per share. Now, personally, I was about to make a lump sum investment into Aston Martin because I really believe in them. Um, They've just about launched or they will be launching their brand new SUV, which is going to be tremendous for their revenue and profits. Um, as, you, as a lot of people know, they've made a lot of changes internally. They've made a lot of cost saving changes and they're planning to only make cars based on orders. So it's a similar sort of uh, business idea to Ferrari. Ferrari only make cars based on orders and since Aston Martin are a luxury brand, um, they're thinking of going in the same direction, which is also a great move um, to what I personally think. I think it's a great move. I mean, we'll only find out if it's a great move uh, if their share price goes up and their revenue goes up and their profits go up. Now, the other company that I invested, the <coughs> other half of the other of the hundred pounds, is RBS and as you can see I mean over the last year like every other company in the, the FTSE 100 and 250 uh, they are down year based on the last year however the last month they're up 13.89% the last seven days they're up 4.41% and today yeah they're up 4.41% obviously now um with RBS, you can see I'm up 12.66%, um, a profit of £19.74, and my average price per share is £1.11p. And you can see here today I bought an extra 40 shares at £50.29. So that's, you know, for me, it's really good news. If I take a look at throughout my portfolio, nearly all of my shares are in the green. So if we discount and hide Spotify, Aston Martin, Fraser Group, Sainsbury's, RBS, UK Dividends, Lloyd's is up 13.94%, which is another big mover. Glencore, Aviva, I don't know if you remember from my last video, I think I was minus 2% with Aviva, and today I'm up 5.36%. So that's obviously good news. I mean, let's skip past Amigo Holdings. BP, I think I was just about breaking even or in a slight loss with BP, up 8.88% today. BT, Vodafone, ASOS, Superdrive, Virgin Money, FTSE All World Dividends by Vanguard, Dixon Carving Warehouse, Nike, Rightmove, Facebook, Diversified Oil and Gas. 
Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned UK dividend iShares, but there again, as you can see, nearly everything is in the green. Now, in my last video, I did mention that I bought Spotify at a very high price. However, um, this is going to be a stock that I'm going to hold very, very long term, and I'm going to continue to add money into it, even if it's at a loss, because I really believe in Spotify, and I think they're going to be a sort of a major tech company in the future. Um, the way we're all consuming content is a lot different, and I think my earlier phrase was the audio version of YouTube, Spotify. So, you know, only time will tell. But I think that's about it, guys. Um, I've got nothing else to add. Uh, I'm pr I might change. Uh, so I'm pl I'm planning to add funds in every week. Um, I normally add the funds in on a Monday, like uh. But what I'm planning to do is to potentially switch it and add funds on a Friday. So I added funds today, which is actually Wednesday. So I should have done that a couple of days ago. But um, what I'm planning to do is to add funds in um, on a Friday instead of a Monday. So, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, I've got nothing else to share uh yeah and yeah watch out for my next video